So this is a demonstration weld of our signal wire attachment process. Uh, you can see here that the rail clamp has already been placed on the rail. Uh, it's a toolless assembly, uh, putting the rail clamp on. Uh, the, the back side of the rail clamp actually pulls into the underside of the head and, and the top of the base uh, to center the, the clamp in the proper position. Then we hang the weld head on the clamp itself. Again, it's another toolless assembly where we just use those pins to drop into place to position the clamp. Uh, in this case, our weld head has been positioned to make a weld on the neutral axis of the web. Uh, you push the weld head forward and then pull the backstops into place and it's effectively ready to weld. Uh, next, we'll show you the controller that we use on the Gen 1 system. So this controller is more complex than what we would imagine using on a field deployable Gen 2 system. You can see it's got five, uh, five available positions for different weld programs. When we're doing research and development and we're developing these processes, we need to have a lot more variability than what you would want in the field. Um, in the field, the system will just have a couple of buttons and one specific weld program that runs every time. Uh, so once you hit start, the spindle gets up to speed in preparation to make the weld. And the weld itself only takes about a half of a second. Um, so it goes really quickly. So the process, once the weld is complete, uh, just works in reverse order. Uh, you effectively just pull the pins back up, the weld head comes out of position, and then uh, you're ready to take the clamp back off. Uh, so when we show the weld itself, you'll notice that there's a machined band there. Uh, in preparation for the weld to be placed on the rail, uh, we do have to spot face the side of the rail to make a flat, clean spot to make the weld on.